Hello everybody, this is Michael with Mikey Does Outdoors coming to you with a look at the uh, Texas Ranger Memorial and the Fort Martin Scott in Fredericksburg. That's what I did. I was only there for one day and I'm not a big shop door-to-door -door shopping kind of person so I didn't go do a lot of that stuff. I decided to go see this stuff and it was neat. Interesting. Uh, well, I hope you enjoy. Thanks. Well, this is the building here for the Texas Ranger Memorial. They got a nice big building. Restrooms is kind of an open air place. They have a few things, little exhibits set up in there and some uh, gentlemen there to, to talk to you about it all and visit with you. And I know there may be days where they have a lot more, more inside that area. I don't know, but it's a pretty neat place. Of course, and they love to talk to you. Of course, you can buy little memorabilia and various things, shirts, trinkets, and uh, proceeds me all go to this facility. Is at this door, uh, got a little ways, and they have these little statues there everywhere with the. Horses and riders, and depicting the Texas Rangers in the old days, good old days, if some people want to say. It takes some work and takes some doing to, to make a a piece of work, uh, art that size and everything. Must have been fairly neat. Didn't have the little placard there on the. Cement yet. You go in there, it's really neat amphitheater where they can have little meetings and demonstrations and whatever, I guess, whatever, little plays, whatever they want to do. It's not a massive thing, but it's, it's still pretty neat. And you go back over there and go through. But yeah, you just go back up the pathway and back through the building. They have room to expand and add stuff. Go out this other side. And you got lots of parking places for people to see this. And, and the Ford that's next to it. We'll see that here in a minute. We'll go down the stairs and then I'll give you a, a good look at the building. There it is, you can see it, and then there'll be a photo pop up here in a minute. We'll spin back around. And you can see a good look at it there, and then probably could have just left that, but I stuck a photo in there, right there. And so, you can get a good look at it. You can go that back down this sidewalk. It was a beautiful day, you can see. Skies had a little cloudiness to it, but there it was warm and not very windy. Pretty nice day. Had a little wind. Need some so you can fly the flag properly, right? Anyway, you can see the big bell tower there, that's part of it. The sign say that they are they already are have plans to start on phase two but this little ring deal here it's, it's a it's a pretty neat thing they got little plaques there and the list of names of texas rangers who have died mostly it's some kind of significant event 
pretty neat to memorize everybody like this. I mean, you remember them. You, you, you know, it's part of our history. It's it's how it's been. You know, you can't really change your history. Some people these days are trying to cover it up, but you can't change it. Your history is your history. To me, you know, we need to learn from it so we don't make the same mistakes that we made in the past. Anyway, yeah, you, you get past that. Keep going down here, and these flags were pretty neat. I tried real hard. I had to stop and take photos here and there. But I tried really hard to get all three of those flags unfurled, but I just couldn't seem to get it. And so, we'll come walk over here and take a look at that. It's a really neat statue. depicting there it is. Several Texas Rangers and horses. And there's a little picture of what they said in front of it. Really neat. And then when you're done with that, you keep going down the pathway. And you go straight to our next attraction here. But this leads us to the fort. Fort Martin Scott, to be exact. And so, you can see there, I stopped, got a picture, you can see it plainly in this. And so, Fort Martin Scott establishes 1888, 1848, excuse me. And all along the way, they have good signs and stuff, information for you. Go stop and read it, it's, it's so you know what was going on back in the day. They even got a sign back there that said how far it was to different places from back in that day. And this is how you learn is to read about stuff. And go see it. It's fun to go see it. I mean, to me that's part of the fun. Keep on going down the path. And I'm sorry, folks, but I am doing this close to an Air Force base, and so you're hearing some some Air Force jets go flying by every once in a while, which is kind of fun. That's our current, that's our present, and we're looking at a, something that's in the past. You know, it's kind of fun. Every one of these places has some good information, and there's tons of those little benches around. So this is one of those places if somebody didn't need to be walking too long or if they needed to walk a bit and then take a break, they could. It might take you a while to go around the whole thing, but you could go and stop at every set of benches and take a break. And one thing that I've noticed trying to do all these videos, there's all a lot of times there's places you go, there's going to be somebody... It just tries their darndest to get in your your video. And that guy up there, I wanted to see him because he he tried hard to stay in my video, and finally I waited till he moved on and went back out there and got a picture without him in it. And then I'm gonna go left instead of right because he went to the right and was you know poking along about it. So the easiest way to do avoid it is to go the other way. And I love these great big old oak trees. At least I'm assuming that's an oak tree, but it's huge. I don't see that as much where I've been living these days, and so it's fun to see that kind of stuff. And it's probably a hundred or more years old, I imagine. More signs. See, I'm headed up there, up the path. These buildings are pretty neat. This one's the kind of a log cabin kind of building, log construction. 
it is the visitor center and it also has other other stuff to see there you could easily take a you couldn't get into buildings but you could take a wheelchair bound person around so they could see it from the outside and they might could get they can kind of see it this side. They wouldn't see very much because it's not handicap accessible that way. But and this might be one of the longer stretches without benches, which is kind of strange because it seemed like they ought to take a bench from some one of the other places that has two and put it over here. I gotta stop every so often and get a picture or two. There's a photo of it. And then we'll go in up the stairs. Nice huge front porch. Front porch sitting is, is a good fun thing. Even back then and, and even now. I mean, if you have somebody with a nice big front porch, it can be fun to sit there up there and just sit in the shade and visit. If you have a little breeze to keep you cool in the summer, it would, not a bad place to be. Of course, now, they have little places all over the place for donation. They had a fellow sitting over there. You can't hardly see him in this. Was, uh, they had a little diorama of the fort. More information, and they showed what the bunks would be, how they might be laid out. And you had to sign in. And even though you've been told all your life not to take any wooden nickels, you have your wooden nickels there. I took one from there. I remember once as a kid taking a wooden nickel from somewhere like that, too. I'm not sure if I remember where it was, but they had them there. I joked with him about being told not to take any wooden nickels. <laughs> they have some pictures of some of the people from back in the day. They have some old uniforms, some old paraphernalia and firearms and all kinds of fun stuff to see. various kinds of fire uh, clothing and stuff to see and little bits of information all along to go with it all it takes somebody a little little thought and, and everything to get it all put laid out and, and get some information there that's in in a good form for people to see. Take some work. Do I work my way on around? Stopped for a second and looked at this wagon that's sitting here. Old wagons are pretty neat. And uh, a nice flagpole down the middle. Wooden flagpole. There's the, the wagon from a different perspective. There it is again. You see me stopping to take another that one of those photos. So, yeah, we'll keep down the trap. There's another another bench. Now there'll be a bench ever so often, which is which is good. Good places for people to stop if you need to.
Yeah, I don't, I don't know how much of the the jet noise is being picked up on the video, but there are little fighter trainer jets flying all around, which is kind of fun. I would I need wish I was outside watching some of it, but I'll probably get to see some of it while I'm here. I tried to get it. Those flies unfurled, and I got a pretty decent shot. But, uh, there's some more, ever, and you try to go everywhere you go, there's more information. This would be the officer's quarters. And so we'll go down the path and go in there, take a look. You can see how they had it all laid. This is the bedroom, you know, with everything. Got a little desk there in the hallway. Over here to the the eating area. Probably eating and visiting. Could probably visit in either place, but I guess you might have multiple officers staying. You may only have one, it may be the commander's unit or something. Another bench, another bit of information. We'll go down to the the troops quarters. Every place has a bit of information about it. <coughs> There's a truth quarters. Now we'll go inside and take a look. A little walkway in there you see there's a bunk bed and various things over there and a, not a bunk bed but a, a bed there's a bed and stuff over here and so I guess you know not a nice big porch in the back as well I didn't turn too far to the right because there was a cooler sitting down there and that's some kind of modern stuff didn't kind of go along with the with the scene And we'll go out and go to the next deal. Which I turn the other way to let some people walk by. So I don't have to keep cutting the video. We'll have to cut it some, but not much. Go down here and this is the 
foundation that's left and talking about uncurring the past and how it helps to understand things, you know, how you, that kind of thing. There's a bench there also, I was with another, right next to that information. A very pretty day. Then we'll go on to the next deal, next little building. There'll be another another bench and another set of inf information down here. And this one has the modern day trash can as well. It's called a store, shutter store or something like that, and it is kind of neat to see all by itself. Then you go up here and have these two buildings. To We'll go down here. There's, there's a whole slew of benches here. By this time, I guess a lot of people, if you went the way I did, lots of folks are getting tired, so you may need to, you may have company if it's a busy time. And more modern day trash cans. But we'll start in the middle, I believe. Yep. Because somebody else was in the, the far left end, so we'll start down here. They had somebody, a cot or a bed for somebody, and they had a cannon in there with all the. Here's all the deals for loading the cannon. They had a little walkway in between, and this must have been the stockade because there's, you know, a place to lock somebody in the deal. And here's some, here's some cells. I tell you what, those are teeny tiny little cells, dude. I would not want to stay in one for very long at all, that's for sure. Especially if you knew you weren't allowed to get out, you know. That wouldn't be fun at all. But, you know, punishment is not supposed to be fun, right? It's supposed to make you not want to do whatever you did that got you in that situation in the first place. That would sure work for me on that. That kind of thing. That would. I'm not a big cl at being claustrophobic, but that would make me claustrophobic. Here's another room. I guess they get the. They can have some desks where they can do some work. Visiting. You know, it's almost every room has a fireplace because that's the way you you cooked and you stayed warm. But there was a fireplace back in the day. And that's really all of the buildings of the fort.
and we'll kind of hit our way out. And it was kind of the the skeleton of a a teepee over here, which I didn't get very good really good photos of, so I didn't I didn't put anything in here. But there was a a teepee in and some some information about it. You can kind of see it over there. So we'll head on back out underneath the great big old tree with the limbs that are stretching forever. <laughs> I don't know if that's the old oak tree or what, but it's a good one. Looks like. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. It's a good look at their past, and and it's always good to remember where you've come from and what's going on in the past. And if you know what the past, what happened in the past, we can. Uh, that's the only way you can prevent uh, repeating mistakes made in the past is by knowing what went on in the past. So, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, go hit subscribe to my YouTube channel and then hit like to the video. I'd appreciate it. Thank you.